What's going on, everybody? It's Kenny Henry, Boss Man Magazine. We're in San Diego, California, and we are blessed to be with the queen herself, Miss Jasmine Grant. Stop. Thank God. you. What's Stop. up, Jasmine? Stop. Our boss woman, okay, you guys? Okay, our family knows she was in our first ever boss woman issue last year, and we're slowly approaching that time again this November. So I, first of all, had no clue, so this interview is completely improv, yeah. that she was going to be here, that I would see her in San Diego. She's here for the Yaguchi Iwaba fashion show, mm -hmm. and she was actually one of the models on the show. Mm -hmm. So tell me that whole story, like how did you get even linked up, how did you become a part of this? You know, LA world is so small, LA, San Diego, True. California, we all know each other really. So um, I had the opportunity to work with the designer prior in a photo shoot actually for Miss Black California USA 2018. And then just through networking and connections, she's like, I'm having my show and I love her design. So I've said, I will be there. And Wonderful. it's crazy because you came up to me, you're like, is your name Jasmine Graham? And I'm like, yeah, that's my name. <laughs> um, and then when you tell me how we're connected, I was like, oh my that's gosh, crazy. it's so, such a small world. It is, it is. And yeah, I personally, just so you guys know, yes, she was in my magazine, but I don't get to meet everyone in my magazine. Right. We have submissions from all over the United States. Uh, so I had I never personally, met. and she did photo shoots with us, but I wasn't at those. So that's why I didn't know her. <laughs> yeah, I but you. now you, you continue to do, there's so many great things, like uh, as far as uh, philanthropic work. Mm -hmm. um, I know uh, you're doing the Chloe Care thing yeah. you'll be partnering with and a few other things that you just had an interview on uh, what news was that it was a news channel right well uh, oh was it k5 k, k channel 5 channel, yeah, 5, channel news. 5 <laughs> yeah. and i saw the interview so i made sure we posted <laughs> that yeah. um but now tell us about the the, the current stuff with the pageant now yes. with, with the competition you've been yes, yes, yeah yes. you've been what three weeks in a row so far mm -hmm. at the number one place yes so tell our, our, our views about that like yeah, what's going on of course so as you stated i have been First place for the People's Choice Awards three weeks in a row, but I've been I've been first place four different times. Um, so that's just a huge blessing in itself. Is that I have yeah. such a huge team of people, family, friends, strangers, just really supporting me yes. um, along this journey. And that's like one of the biggest takeaways is just yeah. the family, the love and support that I have throughout everything. Um, but focusing more on the People's Choice Awards, what that basically is is yeah. people all across the nation can vote for their favorite contestant at Miss Black USA. And with that being said, the end of that wins the total um, competition for the People's Choice is crowned People's Choice Award and gets a spot in the top 15 in the finals. So any pageant people out there know top 15 is a big deal. Right. So we're really just getting people to vote. It's voting every week, closes on Sunday, reopens on Monday. But by the end of it, they calculate all the total scores. Now, how can they like go and vote for you? Like, yeah, where can yes, they find you at? So obviously all my social media is I am Jazz Graham or Miss Black California USA 2018. And that has all the links. But the specific link is MissBlackUSA.org forward slash contestants 2018. From there, you click My Lovely Face or <laughs> Jasmine Grand Miss Black California USA 2018 and just cast your vote. I love it. I love yeah. it. Now, why is that so important that, you know, California is represented? Yeah, so this would be, if I were to win, when I win, and when I bring home the crown, this would be the first time in the 32 years the organization has existed that California would win. Come on. Um, so by me winning, this would be a history-making experience. Um, and so that's why it's so important. And we're, California, we're here. Like, we're, right. we have the eighth largest economy. Come like, come exactly. on, Cali, let's do it. So. Yeah. It's just really important that we show that this yeah. is a family, this is I a agree. village that's helping me get to this goal. And I, in every interview I say, it's more than just this face. Yes. There's so many people that are on the scene, behind the scenes, around the corner, down the street type situation where yeah. they're just so much love and support. Um, and it's, you know, for me, it's not even about winning. It's right. really not. It's just a matter of one, the representation. Right. That's why I started this pageant journey is because the lack of representation of African American women in all of media. Right. Um, and so just that aspect for one and two, I, I get to do events like this. I get right. to speak at schools with my platform and encourage young women. I get to work with the homeless population. I've worked with them so many times here in San Diego yeah. um, and back home in LA as well. Well, but there's so many just different things I get to do and as we're approaching the competition in August which is right around the corner it's just a reflection moment for me it's where right. I wow I've yeah. done so much I've met so many different people that I might not have met if Absolutely. I didn't have the title um, and just that alone is just a life-changing experience yeah. so. well I'm grateful you said that too because that's one of the things I want to make sure like and that's why we chose you to be one of the boss women because it's not just about a pageant yeah you know, you are really out there in the trenches, and that's that's who you are. That's a passion you have. That's a focus you have education-wise. Yeah. So um, that's what I think is great. It's yeah. not just a beauty and pageants yeah. and, and, and that kind of thing, although we encourage empowerment for women mm -hmm. and confidence and self-esteem, but the fact that you're out there 
making the world a better place. Yeah. And that's what you know, Boston Magazine is all about, inspirational stories, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why I wanted to be here so much yeah. because of what they're doing even with this brand and the community here in San Diego. Yeah. So guys, go make sure we support yes. California. We, per, per, we really support Jasmine mm -hmm. and let's go to that link, vote, yes. and let's try to keep her number one and let's get her to represent for us so hopefully California we will finally, can, let's make history. We're well, going to make history. That, please, we can history. do it right. It's very simple. <laughs> yes. Right? So go to that link. Give us a link one more the time. The link is Miss Black California, Miss Black USA.org forward slash contestants 2018. Awesome. Look for her face. Our name, Jasmine Graham. Okay. <gasps> yes. We can do this guys together. We can do this. Yes. And remember as always rep your originality because we will <laughs> signing out.